The Twilight Saga, New Moon, rises at the box office today, and one of its rising stars is here with us this morning, Taylor Lautner, who plays werewolf Jacob Black. Take a look. Get back now! Hey, Taylor, welcome. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, too. I was going to start by asking about the character and the changes from movie one to two, but that seems ridiculous. Why don't we talk about what just happened, okay? <laughs> the, um, because you're 17, right? Yes. A and you are experiencing this kind of Beatles-like popularity at a very young age. What's it like to go through what you just went through out in our crowd? It's, it's just really great to know we have that kind of fan support behind us. It makes us feel a lot more comfortable doing what we're doing. And, I mean, they're just, they're, they're amazing. It's, it's, uh, it's is it ever, though, overwhelming? Is, is any part of it a little daunting? Sometimes, mainly just because none of us expected this. When we were filming Twilight, we thought we were making a movie for some fans to enjoy, something we were passionate about, but we didn't expect anything close to this. And, and so life has changed how? How would you complete that sentence in terms of how you go about living your daily life and amidst all this popularity? You definitely have to make adjustments, but you can't let it get to you too much. I mean, the busiest thing that's changed my life is my schedule. We've been very busy. We've spent six out of the past eight months in Vancouver filming the movies, and, and we just finished the, the international promotion, but it's, it's great. Yeah, we were just talking in the commercial break. What's kind of amazing about all this is that the third installment is already filmed, right? and, and that's going to open in six or seven months, and you're yeah. going to have to go through all this craziness again. Yeah, we'll have a little break, and we'll do it all over. Between movie one and movie two, there was talk, and you know all about this, that perhaps the, the producers of this series were going to go in a different direction with your character, and when I say in a different direction, I mean to a different actor. They wanted this kind of bulky looking werewolf to, to hit the screen. Right. And you kind of tackled that with great resolve, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, when I was filming Twilight, I knew where my character went. I knew I wasn't anywhere close to that at the moment, but I was uh, motivated to get there. So at, I guess at the time you were 16? Yes. 16, 16 years old, right. you said, you know what, i got to put about 30 pounds on. Exactly. And it can't be 30 pounds around the middle. It's got to be 30 pounds of muscle. <laughs> and, and so you really you hired a trainer. I hired a trainer, hit the gym, changed my eating habits. I basically I, I had to double my calorie intake per day. It was tough. And, and your co-stars say you basically walked around with a baggie of, of meat and sweet potatoes, and you'd eat like 24 <laughs> meals a day. <laughs> Pretty disgusting. <laughs> so, and, and as a result, of course, when people see this second installment, they're going to find out that you spend a lot of the time with your shirt off, because yes. the producer's going to take full advantage of that. Was, that. was that at all daunting for you, I mean, to, to be on set? Kind of in the in the up from the waist up in the buff. Yeah, it was a little awkward, um, just because we're, we're filming in Vancouver in March, so it's filming for the whole first month, and uh, I'm the only one wearing the little jean shorts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Now, is this weight, by the way, still on you, or or is this going to be permanent? Or are you going to fluctuate wildly like a lot of actors do? M most of uh, it just it all depends on the role and what I have coming up next. If it, if if a role requires me to lose 40 pounds, then here we go, I'm ready. So you're in this for the long haul? Definitely. No question about it. You're, you're loving the acting side of these things. Absolutely. How are you going to stay grounded? Uh, you know, again, I say 17 years old, and, mm -hmm. and a lot is happening for you at a very young age. Do you, do you have talks about this with family, with friends, about how you don't let this get the best of you? Because we've all heard stories of how it does get the best of some people. Right, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's just a matter of staying true to yourself. And I mean... Spending time with the people you love, spending time with the people you did before, your family and your friends. And Can you accomplish that? I mean, that's an interesting point. Can you still hang out with the same people you hung out with before you ever started doing these movies? Definitely. Maybe not as much just because of our schedule, but uh, absolutely. And, I mean, I'm having the time of my life. I'm doing what I love to do, so I'm very thankful. So friends keep you grounded. Definitely. All right, so one of those friends, and I'm going to say friend, All okay, right. is another Taylor. All right? I watched Saturday Night Live, the tape of it the other day, and did in the you? open... Taylor Swift comes out and she mouths a, you know, hello to Taylor. And I don't think she was talking to herself. <laughs> you don't? No, I think she was talking to you. And so, so tell, me how, <laughs> tell, me, tell me how that's going. That she's, by the way, lovely. We've had her on the show a number is. of times. Really? Yeah. yeah she, she's great. She's a great girl. Um, and I was definitely blushing when that happened. Yeah, <laughs> so you didn't expect it? No. no? It, was, it was a surprise. <laughs> well, it's great. How, how are you handling all the paparazzi and the, and the tabloid side of this? 
It's different. It is, really. Um, but it's so important just to keep that outside and far away as possible and maintain focused on the work. Well, and you've got a lot more work coming. You don't know when you're going to shoot the fourth one, right? Not quite sure. Nothing's confirmed yet. And is there a role out there, I mean, as you look down the road that you say, God, I'd love to, no, no vampire pun intended here, right. but sink my teeth into <laughs> something like that? Um, I mean, as an actor, I just I want to challenge myself as much as possible. So I love going from playing Jacob in the Twilight Saga to doing an action movie, to doing a romance, to a comedy, and just continually challenging myself. Well, good luck with it. You don't need it with this movie, that's for sure. But it's nice Thank to you. have you here. Absolutely. And continued success. Thank you very much. The Twilight Saga New Moon opens nationwide today.